have launched at the windiest time of a windy day. for the first time after the winter so as you might imagine I tied them, tied them on fairly well for the winter normally it'd be a lot easier it's a glorious day have a look around please Sales up or <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that out. We've got time. Yeah. Well there is very little wind to be honest. The sea is pretty glassy. Well it's my glorious day and, and We've just switched the motor off because the wind is starting to fill in. It's not much, but we're, we're sailing. We're doing just over one and a half knots, which obviously is a catch on the slow, slow side. But, but it's nice. It's peaceful. It's a beautiful sunny day. And uh, at the moment, we're not in a rush. So it's, it's delightful. seen a porpoise interact with a boat before. So hi all, um, Hazel and I are sat here at the entrance to the uh, Kiel Canal. There she is over there on a 
telephone, working hard. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee in hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a, a busy week and uh, getting ready to go. We had to help an old friend of mine replace, was it 24 solar panels on his roof, Liz, was it? 24? Yeah. There's an awful lot of oh, solar yeah. panels. Which was fun through we there three times helping out with that. Uh, did an oil change on the car. What you doing down there? I am closing the plug. Oh, putting your drain right. plug in. Yeah. Yeah. Cut the hedge, sold that caravan that's been waiting to be sold for for years. I've for years I've had it lined up as part of my cruising kitty because of course you can't do this sort of thing on no money a person needs a kitty so the caravan was sold that's brilliant i chopped up the last bits of firewood that were waiting to be chopped and stacked them in the shed and we were ready to go we set off on monday the 15th uh, of april into the baltic which you know is not the warmest time of year although clearly it could be worse in the baltic it's a bit of april baltic sailing um, and it was a beautiful day in the morning as we set off, but the weather sort of gradually, or at least the wind, no, the weather deteriorated, the wind built. We ended up the last couple of hours with quite a lively sail on our hands. We were planning to go into a little anchorage, but the wind would have been blowing straight into that anchorage. And that night it was blown, it was forecast to blow strongly, over 20 knots strongly anyhow. So we changed our minds and went into a, a little marina, the one, the last one that I was in um, on my sailing last autumn. And then the next morning, well midday actually, because we waited for the wind to drop um, or die down to a sensible level. Next midday, we set off again and uh, we're hoping to get into a little marina uh, along the coast there. But uh, that all also needed a rapid change of plans. And here we are now at the entrance to the Keel Canal. Sitting here doing a bit of video editing today and tomorrow we should go into the Kiel Canal and make our way through towards the North Sea. So we're on a slow boat to Spain. What's that then, Hazel? Mm. We're eating quesadillas. We are. Just had a cup of tea. Quesadillas. Sort of midday ish. Yeah. We're getting on a bit better, just over three knots, but brilliant interaction with a porpoise because I've never seen we see lots of porpoises around about they're normally um, solitary or with uh, you know a child a young one um, but they never pay any attention to the boats they just sort of pop up and then they're gone again so it's impossible to film them but this one swam around our boat for half an hour played in the bow wave like you know the proper dolphin thing it was it was brilliant so we filmed a bit of it and uh, uh, hopefully that's come out, we'll find out. Yeah, quite a wonderful experience. It's not the warmest day, but uh, we're getting on quite well now, so we're happy. You're all leaning over sideways. Yeah, a couple of words about small boat sailing. And for those of you, I don't know, you know, a lot of you will be experts, no doubt. But for those of you who don't know, with this sort of smallish boat, four knots is your average speed. So if you're doing four, you're, you're happy, basically speaking. Um, and you might get misled by <laughs> some of these YouTube channels with big old catamarans or enormous boats who wouldn't be at all happy with four knots, but us, simple small boat sailors and uh, you know that's what we that's our goal or speed really four knots and, and obviously if you if you can average four knots over a 24 hour period that gets you your magic 100 miles in a day and that's that's as good as any small cruising boat will will do on average you know obviously you'll have better days and worse days but that's basically what we look at and 
We've got a beam wind, perhaps fractionally after the beam, which is a very good point to sell for us. There's the wind indicator and the hazel. Sails set well out. Main's looking beautiful. And uh, yeah, getting along. Sometimes we get up to four and a half. Yeah, sometimes we touch four and a half and you know, averaging four, I suppose, at the moment. And it's great. Uh, probably 10 to 12 knots of wind, I'd have thought. Yeah. I haven't got an anemometer, but in that region, it's going well. Anemometer. Took a reef, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Just took a reef because, uh, yeah, it was starting to get a bit overpowered. So, took a reef in, and the boat speed has barely changed. The tiller feels much better. Yeah. Cool, I think. Yeah, I think so too. And I feel like it's uh, not leaning as strongly yeah, anymore. Yeah, not healing as much. Yeah. 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 But other than that, we're going really well, about yeah. 12 miles to go, roughly, yeah. Yeah. give or take, yeah. yeah, so, awesome. Oh, the wind's picked right up now, it's an incredible day, we started off in glassy calm, now we've got uh, probably a lot of white caps, probably a force five, four to five. No, I'm going to go five, and it's fairly big waves by this part of the world's standards. Yeah, no, not big waves, it's not kid as well. But uh, yeah, good, we had a good range of conditions at least. Um, we're thinking of going into uh, where we're looking at our options, our anchorage that we were intending to go to is not ideal for this. So we're looking at other options. There's a couple of marinas that we're looking at. Oh, it's fun though. So it's the next morning and um, we in the end, yesterday we ran into um, the marina at Fiman Bourg. I ran is not right, it was a beam wind. Um, it got pretty lively out there, and uh, we ended up with a double force or reef of reef in the main. We we're still very fast, well over five knots. Um, and the entrance to the marina here is, is um, fairly tight, there's stone sticking out either side, it's narrow, but it's buoyed. So. And we handled it really well, got in here, um, took a dock birth and so we spent the night here it's been stormy well strong winds stormy is an exaggeration very very windy raining hard um, so the forecast that we were looking at yesterday didn't turn out to be quite right which um, it got stronger later on at least there's a little bit of a worry I suppose uh, but anyhow we've had a relaxing morning we've had a bowl of porridge still lazing in bed that's lovely coffee on the go and today Hazel's phoned there's a little marina about 20 miles from here um, called Lippa. And Hazel's phoned there. It's a tight entrance. It's also shallow, but, but it's deep enough. We've checked the draft or um, the entrance depth. And it's deep enough for us to get in. So we're going to try and get there. It's about 20 miles, as I said. And the forecast is that about midday today, the wind should veer around to the north-ish, possibly a bit northeast a little bit east of north anyhow and uh, that should be ideal again a beam wind gets it over there to lift it or perhaps a little bit after the beam and that wind is forecast to get lighter as we get nearer because the entrance there is is supposed to be particularly difficult i don't know if it's any harder than this one <laughs> we'll find out but that's our plan so we're lazing around this morning got washing up to do and then uh, midday ish we'll get underway again if the weather looks like it's doing what the forecast says it's supposed to.
sailing. Hey. in the full sail. Engine's running smoothly so far. It is running very well so far. Quite good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. This main sail up soon. And, uh, and away under the Fiedmann Bridge. Yeah. That's good. Which you can't even see. No. Moment. It is so... Because it's so rainy out, yeah. I think. Exactly, it's not far, oh, I see it. I just see it just emerging now. I see the channel mark. It's, <laughs> there. See the bridge, it's there. Behind, beyond that headland there. Oh, right. yeah, it's just coming out beyond the headland. I see the channel mark. It's up my head. Right. I don't know if you'll see that, but that's the Fiedmann Bridge we're approaching. We're doing really well. So really beautifully. Beautiful. You warm enough, Hazel? I am right now. Your feet? Uh, not too much, no. <laughs> Should have put on thicker socks. Thicker socks. Oh, well. Perfect the cold weather sailing outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my cold weather sailing outfit. Look. It's, uh, it's not the warmest of days. This is Baltic sailing in April. Aren't we? No. It's just flat in the bridge. There's just no breeze there. Well, and so it goes. The plans have changed again. Um, we've just <laughs> learned, well, about an hour ago, I guess, learned that uh, the area around the little marina, Lipper, that we wanted to go into, including the marina of Lipper, is in a military practice area and uh, there's live shooting today. So we've been told that we can't go in there. <laughs> oh, bless. And so now we've decided to go all the way to the start of the Kiel Canal, which will be involve nighttime passage, a night passage. We should arrive early hours in the morning. Uh, we're having to go dead into the wind. There is the wind indicator. And we're motoring about uh, between three and a half and four knots, a bit under four knots with motor 1800 revs, going quite well really. So, at least the sun's shining. Yeah, so we arrived here at the dock at the entrance to the Kiel Canal, roughly midnight, just fractionally after midnight. That night, um, had a very, very good trip. The wind picked up a little bit when it got dark and we, we sailed in four and a half knots or so. The channel into the Kiel Bay gets fairly busy. The, the Kiel Canal is a ship canal and there's quite a lot of shipping goes through it. So um, it's, we stayed just outside the main channel just follow the boys in really. Um, at one point we had to cross from the red side to the green side, but um, we picked a quiet moment. Well, thank you for watching, if you've watched this far. Um, and of course, a massive thank you to uh, the lovely people who support us on Patreon and via PayPal, um, who really do make these videos possible. As I'm sure you know, there's stuff over on the Patreon page, the video behind the scenes stuff over there. So if you'd like to have a look, get over there, check it out and possibly even consider supporting the project. All right. See you next time. We'll be going into the canal and hopefully making some progress along the North Sea coast. See you then. Bye.